I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And this is our Thanksgiving episode. Where we're here to bring you more brutally, brutally honest beer reviews. Thanksgiving. <sighs> it's a yeah, stressful holiday. A little. Right there below Christmas, probably. I think it starts at Thanksgiving. And then the oh, drama just builds and builds continues. and builds and builds. It's and like builds. a snowball. Yeah. So, what's your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Probably pulling the wishbone with my sister out of the turkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've never done that. Really? No. It's kind of gross, but it's fun, and we used to do yeah. it all the time. I don't have a I don't have any siblings, so we don't do that gross. Well, stuff. other than eating, I would have to say that's my favorite. <laughs> Um, I think mine is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade because I love to watch that every year. As a kid, I watched it glued to the TV. Now I kind of watch it as I'm getting ready for the day. You know, it's like blow dry my hair, see if the rockets are on. Put on some makeup, see if the rockets are on. <laughs> Do something else, see if Hanson is possibly in the parade. I'm seeing a pattern. You know what I mean? No, I said Hanson the last oh, time. Oh, you did. Okay. I, like, Fair. hopefully they're on a float every year. They're That's not going to be. Okay. Well, it's okay. I love them too, but they're <laughs> So what is your favorite um, Thanksgiving food? Um, my grandmother's sweet potato casserole. <gasps> That's my favorite. With that... marshmallows on it. Oh, no, no. I like the kind with the crispy pecan kind of crust on top. Right. She puts toast. She toasts the marshmallows on it. Yeah. One year, my aunt ruined it, though, because she put flavored marshmallows on it because Ooh, they were colored. And she no. thought they'd be pretty. Not a good idea. No. Don't do that. Sweet potato casserole is 100% my favorite too mm -hmm. with cranberry sauce coming in a close second. Do you do the canned or like fresh? Um, of course I like a fresh cranberry sauce because you need the canned. I make very good cranberry sauce with a little Grain Marnier. Like it's a fantastic recipe. But I'm not opposed, like I'll eat the canned stuff too. I'm not, I'm not that bougie. I love cranberries but I don't like the sauce. No, it's good. I love it. Yeah. yeah. What about dessert? Because we know that's what oh, it's all about clearly. for both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just huge dessert. My people. mom used to make a really good sweet potato pie, so that would probably be it. But mm -hmm. I love like anything mm -hmm. really. So we, I mean, we always have like so many different desserts. We have like chocolate pie. We have sweet potato. Somebody always buys a pumpkin pie. Like, come on, try to make it yourself. Don't buy pie. Pinterest people. We are from the south. <laughs> you don't buy dessert. You don't bring mm -hmm. a store bought dessert to things. No, like you shouldn't. But it's always in a box. So. That's mm -hmm. how it rolls. I mean, she I like called you desserts. out too. You know, who <laughs> you, you know. Are. <laughs> awesome. Desserts where it's at. <laughs> yes. But you know what you always need at Thanksgiving? Beer. Beer. <laughs> you always need beer for so many reasons. Oh my God, so many reasons. I feel like you definitely, if you don't drink any other time of the year, which you should, because there's there's. There's, a, there's so many reasons at all so points and times reasons. in their life to drink beer. But especially through the holidays, everybody just needs a little help from their friend. <laughs> and your beer, beer is your friend. <laughs> so um, today we're going to talk about four different beers. We're going to taste them just like we did the last episode. And we're going to give you our ratings from one to ten, what we think about these beers. And then at the end of the show, um, we have kind of a special treat we're going to go through and tell you at what points in the day we recommend drinking these beers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> First beer that we are going to try, and I'm really excited for Amy to try this, <laughs> is the Catawba Charlotte Indian Pale Ale. It is a, I'm trying to find the percentage on it, 7.2. Um, IPAs, as you know, are my favorite, so I'm very excited to see how much you will enjoy this. Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> mm. I just went for it. Sorry. It smells mm. like it is heaven. Floor cleaner. I mean, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean. It's exactly what it smells like to me. They always kind of smell like that. But taste it. And maybe. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. It is exactly everything I do not like in an IPA. It's citrusy and it's hoppy and it, it tastes. It is. And it's amazing. 100%. No. 100%. I, I just can't. Kitaba. No, it tastes like, it tastes like Mr. Clean. And no, not at all. Yeah. I'm going to take one more sip just yeah, to make it's sure. it's good. And it's like very dry. It's hoppy. Mm. But it does have citrus in it. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for one of those kind of IPAs, then this is a good one to go to. Catawba Brewing is really good. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't like IPAs, but <laughs> as you know, they're my favorite. 
I've had a couple that I do not mind, but this is the type I don't like. You don't think it's the smoother IPA than you've had before? I don't, uh, no. <laughs> no. All right, that's fair. I don't like it. I, so it's very unfair for me to judge an IPA because they're not my favorite type of beer, but this is, for me, this is the bottom of the totem pole, so this is a one. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Okay. I well, keep it real. I give it a nine because it's really good. It's juicy. It is hoppy. It's got like a tropical taste, but then that hoppiness that comes along with it. Yeah, it's a nine. Solid. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, love. <laughs> there you go. The next beer that we're going to try today <laughs> is from Deep River Brewing Company, and it is Joko White Tater. The artwork on this can is amazing. Yeah, Just, I'm going to put this closer in a minute. Um, this is from Clayton, North Carolina. And my favorite thing about this can, it says Johnson's County's first legal brewery. Because, you know, in the South, mm -hmm. we do Bible what we Bell. want. We do what we want. We've been brewing beer. Just not legally, apparently. Along with um, the moonshine. <laughs> So this is a Belgian Dubel ale brewed with white sweet potatoes. I didn't know there were white sweet potatoes. I honest. didn't either, to be honest. But this is, I think this is, it screams Thanksgiving because like we both said, sweet potato. Yes, sweet potato our favorite. Right. That's right. That's right. It probably so, will go right along with it. Yeah, we're going to see. We are going to see. Look, I'm Rich pouring this color. for you first. Thank because you. Because I learned from last time. See, I'm working <laughs> on myself, people. I am working on myself. All right. And then a little bit for me. So here we go. So you guys can enjoy that really cute can art because that's really cute. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. It smells like a Marzen beer. It does. It doesn't smell like sweet potato. It smells like Marzen. Oh, I really like that. I like it too. It's it, it tastes like an Oktoberfest, though not like a sweet potato beer. It's very. I mean, that's a Belgian. That's I guess so, that and makes that's sense. the kind of beer that I really like. So, yeah, I like this a lot. It's caramelly mm -hmm. and malty, malty, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it's not too sweet. It's dry. It's the one you could drink more than one of easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the flavor is not overkill. So this mm -hmm. is really nice and the color is beautiful that really pretty amber color mm -hmm. i love that that is a very very nice beer i wonder if like white sweet potatoes aren't as like flavorful maybe or maybe. stand out flavor are sweet potatoes white before they get really ripe we aren't farm girls no obviously yeah we, we don't live know. in the subs <laughs> our whole life we don't know <laughs> we ain't riding on anybody's big green tractor <laughs> All right. Yeah, I really love this. Mm. I think we might agree on this one. Uh, th this might be the first beer ever sure. that we agree on. No, I really like this. I'm giving this a solid nine. Yeah, I would agree. It's a nine. Yay! It's really good. Yay for us to agree. Out. Yes. <laughs> All right, so for our next beer, or not beer, we have Dragon's Breath Apple Cider with Ginger. And I do love some ginger, so this should be pretty interesting to taste. And it's from England, so... <gasps> Cheerio. Cheerio. You don't say. Cheers, good mate. Oh, they cheers. Meant that I just go Australian. I don't. <laughs> my my one biggest regret in life is that I wasn't born in England. Well, I don't know if you can regret that. I didn't really have a choice. But I, if I could have anything, it would be an English accent. I don't know if you know this, though, but our accents are pretty I loved mean, as well. My, not that you, my you southern. Just can't, you just can't make this accent up. Not that my southern <laughs> accent is not delightful and charming but an english accent just gets me every time oh it smells like ginger mm -hmm. ginger ale and i it love does. ginger I ale too. and ginger candy yes mm -hmm. not sweet it's like sweet but not like you know when you get angry orchard or something it's like oh it's not like that at all why is this so sweet it's not sweet at all it's it's very Barely even apple-y to me. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more, ginger. more ginger. It's mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, and this has six percent alcohol in it. You know, this would make a fantastic <clears throat> Moscow Mule <gasps> idea. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. Oh yeah. my gosh! 
And you could even make it really pretty with like a little piece of candied ginger on the mm -hmm. mug. Because I think ciders can get a bad rap mm -hmm. and they can be, you know, more like a malt beverage or more, you know, people think of them more of as a Smirnoff or something like that for yeah. people who aren't beer drinkers. Right. But, but ciders, um, I think they, they do. They be appreciated. They need to be appreciated because there is a lot of... Um, you know a lot of craftsmanship that goes into this right and so this yeah. is a this is a really nice cider it does taste a lot like ginger mm -hmm. i'm gonna give this cider a seven i was gonna give it an eight because out of ciders that i've had this is my favorite yeah this is one of the best ones it's not over the top sweet and i love that I think it's a great Thanksgiving beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next beer that we are going to try is from um, Cyrenac. It is a caramel porter. This is from the FX Map Brewing Company that is located in New York. Caramel porter. This sounds very fall. Yes, and it makes me really excited because I love all things caramel. Uh, yeah, I'll smell it. And it has a caramel color. Oh, it does, yeah. It doesn't smell doesn't overly smell. sweet. It doesn't have much of it in it. Like a scent. It smells very beer, beer esque. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which Not I much. like that this looks like a really light porter. It does. It doesn't look very thick. Yeah, it does. I'm excited to see what mm -hmm. this tastes like. That is life changing. It's got aftertaste <gasps> of caramel so much. It's so light. Oh but my like, gosh. There's that sweetness at the end. It is refreshing and mm -hmm. light and bubbly and that's amazing yeah it's really good it doesn't taste like anything else really other than caramel and the caramel does come at the end it's not even like you have to like wait to drink this with dessert either because it's not overly sweet no not at all you i actually have it with a meal absolutely i think this would be really good with a meal mm -hmm. actually yeah easily i feel like you could make like a float with this <gasps> like a beer float with that we'll put some ice cream on top you could make this to your dessert could you, you might need to has is there such thing as a beer float yes i've had one what yes you use a stout or a porter and it makes it where, where have you had at one a beer now? festival in boone put that down in your boat guys <laughs> 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 it's a true it's okay a life i thing. have a couple thoughts here one i wasn't invited to this two she has never told me about this beer float until right now and three i'm having to reevaluate our friendship status i am gonna give oh gosh i'm gonna give this a nine again i've given out two nines today i'm going the same really yeah i mean it's borderline 10. it's like nine and this a half. is a great great mm -hmm. great fall beer so now we're gonna do something really fun. We are gonna tell you, we're gonna pick our three favorites. We're gonna tell you which one we're gonna chug before the family gets here, <laughs> which one we're gonna enjoy at dinner or try to share with maybe our dad or you know get somebody to try it with us. And then most importantly, the one that we're gonna savor once everybody's gone. That sweet, sweet moment. <laughs> everybody has gone home and the dishes are done and it's you're sitting you on your couch <laughs> and your cat on the, <laughs> and you are watching the first Hallmark Christmas movie of the year unless you're one of those started like a month ago are you one of those weird people that's already watched one though I might have <laughs> see no mm -mm. I watched the first one of the year Thanksgiving night you know I just think it it's I feel nice like that's that when you can break an elf though well, whatever you want to watch, okay? We're not here to give you <laughs> movie selections. We're here to give you beer selections. Um, so I think the one I'm going to chug before I get there is going to be the Dragon's Breath um, Hard Apple Cider. That's going to be kind of hard to chug because it's a cider. <laughs> but um, but Easily I'm up for a challenge. So I'm chugging the cider. I might say I'm going to maybe chug the tater. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That one would be an easier chug, I think, mm -hmm. than the cider. Yeah. But um, no matter which one we're chugging, we need some liquid encouragement for what's about Clearly. to happen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So during dinner... A lot of social interaction. <laughs> <laughs> with, with who knows who. Like, you might have a weird uncle, or you might have a cousin that you only talk to once a year. You mm -hmm. have to make that awkward conversation. You, they ask oh, you, how God. are you? How's your job? How's work going? It's always work! <laughs> Which one are we going to enjoy at dinner or you're going to share? Um, for me, it would be I, I want my dad to taste something because it's always 
highly entertaining. Um, my dad is a Coors Light, Natty's Light, Natty Light only kind of dude. Mm -hmm. He thinks everything else is pretty much disgusting. And so <laughs> it's hilarious to me to make him try other things. So I'm going to make my dad try the uh, the Joko White Tater. Be probably going to do that IPA at dinner. Ugh. Because... Um, the person I talk to most about beer is my uncle, and he absolutely loves like anything that is similar to a Blue Moon. He does he dabbles in like the IPA range, but it's not like anything like this. So yeah, I'm gonna make him try that and see how it goes. But the most fun beer of the whole day is when it's all over. Yes, it's all over. We survived. I'm in my PJs on my couch. Yes, yes, with the turkey. Yes. Well, point. to me, it is absolutely no contest. I am totally drinking the and caramel I agree. Porter. Me too. The caramel porter. Mm -hmm. No, I'm having a second dessert. That's what I'm totally that having. That would go well with a dessert. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, easily. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, guys. We just helped you out. That's you're what you're going to do for Thanksgiving, <laughs> okay? You may not have anything else figured out. If you need a recipe, hit up Pinterest. <laughs> That's all we got because we can't give you any because we don't complete our very much. Because that is where it's at, you know. But if you need a beer, we're the girls to come to. These are your choices for Thanksgiving. Hope you have a good one. Good luck. Thanks for watching our Thanksgiving episode. Always remember, we will judge you. Your new boyfriend. That weird jello mold you brought. Any dessert that you brought. Your eyebrows. <laughs> And your beer choices. The end. <laughs>